Hello sailors and welcome back to the channel and another edition of As We See It. It's so good to have you back with us. Please don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you like-minded individuals more content. Remember to click on the bell to be notified when we post next. Join us on our latest adventure, our seven night Portugal and Spain cruise on board Piano's new flagship, Iona. Built in Meyer Wharf, she has a total of 19 decks, comes in at a length of 344 meters or 1,130 feet almost four and a half times bigger than the Titanic and the size of three American football fields. She has a maximum speed of 22 knots and a passenger capacity of 5,200 guests or 6,264 at full occupancy and around about 1,800 crew. Her maiden voyage should have been on the 14th of May. The worldwide pandemic put a stop to that and she set sail on the 7th of August 2021 with her maiden voyage to the Scottish island that she is named after. She is the biggest cruise ship ever to be built for the UK market and her home port of Red Street is Southampton. Iona is the greatest member of the fleet and the first British cruise ship to be powered by liquefied neutral gas, LNG. As an XL class ship, she has a host of unique features, including an onboard craft gin distillery, spectacular aerial shows, and an infinity pool with breathtaking panoramas. It's embarkation day and we took an Uber to the port. I got talking to the driver and he was from Dalkeith in Scotland originally. We had a chat with him and it turns out he grew up just around the corner from where I lived. When we got to the port and dropped off our luggage, it was time to head through and have our COVID test. This was quite a straightforward process. We got to the test centre, I had my test administered and then I was waiting for Paul. At this point I saw someone that I knew walking towards me. I knew that Helen worked for the overall carnival group and here she was with P&O instead of normally on Cunard. It's so great to be able to catch up with her before boarding. We then went to the waiting room and after a 45 minute wait, we were given the all clear to board. After check-in and through security, it took another 30 minutes to board. As we got on board, we headed straight to our muster drill. We checked in at the muster and then we grabbed a bite to eat in the keys on the ship. Keys has three different counters that you can get food from. Hook, line and vinegar, which does fish and chips. Asian flavours at Fusion. And the Boardwalk Diner serving American classics. Paul had the fish and I decided on chicken katsu curry because it was served with noodles. An announcement was made when we started to eat to say that the rooms were ready and that we could go to them. After our food it was time to go to the room to drop off our bags. As we headed to the room and walked down the corridor I could see my luggage outside the room. We got in and started out a few things and I videoed the room. I then heard something in the hallway and it was Paul's luggage being delivered. We finished unpacking and decided to go for a walk just to explore the ship.
Her first impressions are great. She has a nice ship. The three-storey windowed atrium is beautiful. The large dome on the top deck has such a nice space and well needed on a wet and windy day. It got cold and we decided to put in and have a cup of tea in the Horizon Buffet. As I was filming on the DJI Pocket 2, a couple of staff members wanted to know more about the camera and couldn't believe that such a small device had such great picture quality at 4K. I was showing them what I knew it could do so far because I still have a way to go regarding working it fully. After this, we went down and took a look at the spa. We like to use the Hydra Suite in the spas, but due to COVID restrictions, it wasn't open on Pier Rose Britannia, so we were pleased that it was open on Iona. They do have a policy of 10 guests per two hour slot. You pay a daily charge of 35 pounds to use it for two hours. If you booked more days, the price went down, so it was 89 pounds for three days, and then 109 pounds for the full cruise, which was around about 18 pounds per day. Well, which to be honest, is a better price for two hours usage. As the spa is down on deck 6, we decided afterwards to look around the lower decks of the ship. We found the four screen cinema they have on board. After looking at the main dining rooms, the gin distillery and the library area, we headed back to our room. It was time to get ready for dinner and I wanted to recharge my phone. Paul put the film The Chaperone on the stateroom TV and we watched some of it prior to and whilst getting ready. We also listened to the captain's announcements about our journey. We had chosen Sindhu as our dinner venue this evening. Sindhu is a contemporary Indian kitchen which showcases a curated selection of dishes that are the perfect fusion of spice and delicate flavours to create an authentic experience for your senses. When we sailed on Piano Britannia last year, we really enjoyed Sindhu, so we wanted to go back. The menu is slightly different, but the food is still so delicious. As we waited for our food, we heard the lady at the table next to us, who was rather loud. She had a West Country accent and it was quite hilarious. She had the daily planner with her for tomorrow and is planning out what they will be doing. 
She then turns to her husband and says, if we don't want her, we don't have to. She then asks the waiter when he returned to clear her place, which deck is the pictures on? And he looks so confused. She then again asks, where do the pictures happen? Which deck do we watch the pictures? He was really confused. She then said she wanted to see the new James Bond movie. And then he went, oh, you mean Ocean Studios and deck seven? The poor lad didn't know that she meant the movies. Pictures or picture house is another British term for cinema. We both had chicken injera kurum boy for starters and shared a Parsi lamb cutlets tomata ni jirobi. Paul had aromatic red chicken curry and I opted for the beef curry merch masala. The food is always delicious in Cindy. Although the menu was a little different to the one in Britannia because they didn't have the three curry dish. My taste buds were tingling with the flavours and our bellies were so full that we skipped dessert. After dinner, a much needed walk was needed around the ship. The shots were open to me on for a look and headed to get our model of the ship. We had a look in the fragrance shop and they had a buy one get one 50% off deal on most of the store. I got my Tom Ford ombre leather and Paul got some Mont Blanc Explorer. We finally got to the souvenir shop after basking our way past the duty free and we couldn't see any ships so we wondered if they were in a different shop. We asked and the gentleman behind the counter decided to tell us that he didn't have any. Poor lad. We gasped and said what? No way. No model ships. Can't be true. A couple next to us joined in with the same response and on hearing that 15 other people in the shop walked out in disgust. So I guess the model ship was a popular purchase that wasn't going to be. So we took our £3 fridge magnet purchase, handed our aftershaves back up to the room and watched the end of the film The Chaperone. We headed up to the Horizon Buffet after 11pm to have some hot chocolate and one final drink before going to bed. We took some tea bags with us back to the room and Paul put on the film The Empty Man. We watched part of it before becoming sleepy and it really was time for slumber. So we're going to bid you good night and we will see you for day two real soon.